What's going on, socialites, and welcome back to another global Pokemon Society Draft League battle. It's Season 7, the quarterfinals, as the number two seed, Denver Ninetales, takes on the number eight seed, Paris Saint Germain. We see here Denver. Bringing Latios, Tokus, Swampert, Heracross, Muck, and Camerupt. While Paris is bringing Rotom Wash, Salamence, Claydol, Drapion, Gramble, and Magmortar. The PSG leading off with Claydol as they tend to do, and Denver leads off with Heracross. 6v6, best 2 out of 3 match. Winner moving on to the semifinals where they will face the Lavender Town Gengars. Hoping to get that match for you between Lavender Town and Charm City, but if I don't, then you're not really spoiled. Because I just let you know who won that. Andrew, head coach PSG, decide what they want to do here. They are going to switch Clay it all out. Into Magmortar. Takes that Megahorn somewhat re reasonably well, and you get the Flame Orb there. I apologize if there's a little bit of a static in the background. Um, I think it had to do with the, my wife's Switch connection to the computer, because it only happened on there. As we see Heracross... Able to outspeed Magmore and gets the close combat off for the first KO of the match. I'll have to check to make sure that that static goes away in future videos. PSG to sign who's center next. It's gonna be Drapion. Now Heracross, even with the defense drop, should be able to take a hit here from Drapion. Drapion with the poison jab. As you see the hair across. Able to survive and gets an earthquake off. Getting a second KO. Knocking out the ever annoying Drapion. Rotom's going to be sent out here. A different uh, Latio set this week from Denver. Not bringing the choice spec set that they usually do. Rotom with the Thunderbolt. No paralysis. Latios holding the Soul Dew, which gives a 20% boost to its dragon and psychic moves. Ramble comes in expecting the Draco Meteor. Well, the Psychic doing big damage there to Gramble. And Gramble's going to stay in. Take another Psychic here. Denver having their way.
PSG is going to send out Salamence. They might think Latios is locked in. We did see PSG bring Choice Scarf Salamence last week, so we'll be able to find out here, perhaps, if that is the case. Also, speaking of Salamence, make sure to check out the community page, as we do see that the Salamence is Choice Locked. It goes for the Outrage, knocking out Latios. Check out our community page where you can still vote for this season's MVP Salamence amongst those. Gonna have that run through till the end of this week and then we will call the Season 7 MVP. Got some good candidates this season. Salmon's gonna be stuck in that outrage, of course. Not affecting Tokus, who will get the Dazzling Gleam off. Finish off Salamence. These two teams played each other during the regular season. Denver able to win that match in three games. Claydol comes out. Toe kiss. With the air slash, a 60% chance to flinch. Play it all with the Ice Beam. Not going to do much Tokus. Does not get the freeze. Tokus with a Dazzling Gleam will knock out Claydol. From here, it looks like Denver should have enough Pokemon to work through here. Rotom with a Thunderbolt. Togekiss just able to survive that. Gets off a Dazzling Gleam. Rotom with another Thunderbolt will knock out Togekiss. Enters the battlefield. Rotom again with the Thunderbolt. Gets a crit, but no paralysis. And Muck with the explosion. Takes out Rotom. And that is game one going to Denver here. Pretty convincing match. We'll have to see how PSG changes up here as the teams will be getting ready for game two. Teams are getting ready for game two here. Let's see what Denver decides to lead off with and what PSG wants to do to change some stuff around. Did not seem like a close match. And especially now that Denver knows Salamence is Choice Scarf. It's good information, but PSG also knows that Latios is not Choice Locked. So they're going to have to play around that as well. Actually, I guess they don't know that, right? Because they never saw it switch of moves because they just killed it. So they don't know that Latios isn't Choice Locked. Interesting, interesting. 
See, Heracross facing down Magmortar. Heracross faster and takes out Magmortar with one Earthquake. So definitely not the counter lead that PSG was hoping Magmortar would be. Gramble comes out. Denver switching out Heracross for Muck. Muck takes the play rough. No attack drop. Yeah, she's switching out Gramble. Gonna bring in Claydol here. Muck with the gunk shot, no poison. Denver switching back out into Aircross. Claydol just getting the Stealth Rock up. Claydol switching out into Gramble yet again. Aircross with the Mega Horn. Not doing too much to Gramble. See, it looks like Denver's gonna stay in. Might be thinking that Gramble might be predicting. The muck switch. No, Gramble stays in. Let's see if it goes for Earthquake or... No, it just goes for the play rough. And that'll knock out Heracross. Adios comes in, takes a little bit of Rock's chip. I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam here. Gramble's gonna switch out. Into Drapion. Ice Beam doing almost half, but not quite, as the Black Sludge gives a little bit of recovery to Drapion. Adios with the Draco, but misses, so Drapion gets the knockoff. On Deladios, a huge miss. In comes Swampert. Great bound with the knockoff.
Drapion stays in, gets an Earthquake off. Swampert takes that relatively well, and Swampert, with an Earthquake of its own, will knock out Drapion. Despite missing that Draco, it's still anyone's game here. It all goes for the earthquake. Big scald from Swampert. Cladol with the rapid spin will remove the stealth rocks. Four going down to the Scald. TSG sends out Rotom. Rodon with the Hydro Pump connects. Knocking out Swampert. Not too many Pokemon remaining for Denver. with the Volt Switch. Goes into Gramble. Mux Gunk Shot misses though. Denver switches out into camera up. But Gramble with the earthquake knocks out camera up. Just to go back into muck. Muck hits the gunk shot this time. It will knock out Gramble. Salamence is the play here. These rocks are going to really chip away at Denver here. This could be their opportunity to defog. 
Or they could try to go for a Dats and Gleam. Gonna be close here if another dazzling gleam can knock out Rotom, or if Rotom will knock out Toekiss. I think that the best play is for Toekiss to stay in here. Muck comes in. It's going to take some rocks damage, though. Get hit by this Thunderbolt. Yeah, swapping out here. Definitely going to give Paris the win. As now, Rotom is going to be out of Dazzling Gleam range. And it's going to be able to outspeed the Muck here. So we're going to be able to see a game three against these teams. With the rocks damage now, Thunderbolt should take out Togekiss. And we'll get game three to see which team moves on to the semifinals. Big Draco miss there. And then uh, just some unfortunate pivoting at the end. Sealing the deal as Denver takes that loss to PSG. And we'll get ready for game three. And the teams are getting ready. See how they switch it up here. PSG sending out Granbull this time. Against Denver's Heracross. So a much better counter to Heracross here. Denver is going to go into camera up. As Grambo with the Ice Fang, so really switching things up here. Grambo stays in, gets another Ice Fang off on camera up. Camera up, revealing the Solar Beam. It is game three, though, so. Not like you should hide it at this point. Probably expecting the Rotom switch. Does some good damage there. But Grambo will take out Camerupt. Who unfortunately didn't get to do much in this game.
Denver deciding who to send out next. It is going to be Latios. PSG switches out. Into Drapion, who will block the Psychic. And here we go. Can Drapion dodge another Draco Meteor? No, not this time. So Draco takes down Drapion. It all comes out. Denver switches out to hair across. Played all getting up the stealth rocks. Across getting the flame orb activation. Rock Tomb. Expecting a switch out there, but Clay all staying in. Those were a rapid spin. Heracross with a Megahorn connects, taking out Claydol. Megahorn aiming true this game. It's gonna bring out Salamence. Of course, Togekiss is pretty healthy unless the Salamence has Stone Edge or Iron Tail to catch the Togekiss on the switch. Let's see. Goes with the Fire Blast. Togekiss should take this relatively well. No burn either. Salmon switches out again into Magmortar. Tokus getting rid of those rocks though with the defog. Tokus switches out, going into Swampert. Nightmora goes for Thunderbolt. Swampert blocks that. Swampert could try to get the Stealth Rocks up here. 
With Clade all gone, there's no way for PSG to remove them. She switches out into Gramble. Swamper with a Scald. No burn. Swampert staying in here. PSG switches out again, though, into Rotom. Swampert looking for a burn. Gets a critical hit, though. We're going to get that burn to negate the Leftover's recovery from Rotom. Swamper's just gonna stay in. Rotom goes with the Will O Wisp. Slowly chipping away. Hydro Pump doing some nice damage. Swampert gets his Citrus Berry. Swamper able to survive is going to get off a torrent boost. It's scald. Rotom yet to miss a hydro pump. Swampert goes down to another Hydro Pump. Adios is back in. Gets the Psychic off. That'll finish off Rotom. Salamence comes out, but Toekiss, relatively healthy. Now 
already got the rocks away. Salmons was trying to get the outrange. It was looking for a kill. Salmon switches out again into Gramble. Gramble goes down to the Dazzling Gleam. Leaving only Salamence and Magmortar. Adios comes back out, able to resist all of Magmortar's attacks, but gets the Paralysis. Magmora with the flamethrower. Again, nothing that's going to do significant damage to Latios. But Latios does get paralyzed, so... There is a way. But we do know that Denver has Heracross, which will kill Magmortar. And as long as Togekiss stays healthy, it'll 1v1 the Salamence. There's the Draco connecting, though, which... Knocks out Magmortar. Now all Denver needs to do is sacrifice Latios here. And that should wrap it up. Salamence connecting on the Fire Blast. Not doing too much though. Latios with a nice beam. Big damage on the Salamence. Another Fire Blast. Not enough to take a Latios. But Latios stays paralyzed. Another Fire Blast from Salamence. Knocks out Latios, so... Able to get a KO thanks to the Paralysis, but this will allow Togekiss to come in, and that should be that. Down goes Salamence, and with that, Denver, the reigning champ, moving on to the semifinals to take on the Lavertown Gengars. As always, let me know what you thought of the battle. Do you think Denver has what it takes to run it back two seasons in a row? Make sure to leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and as always... Stay classy, society.